Hello guys, before we start the video, I just want to let you guys know that I'm doing a giveaway for a Sanrio Amiibo card official Nintendo pack and the video, the last video was the giveaway video. So if you guys want to have a chance to win Sanrio Amiibo cards, go watch the last video, super easy to enter. All you have to do is subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and then comment on the giveaway video what your favorite Sanrio villager is. And that is all. I just wanted to let you know so that more people have the chance to win it. And if you would be interested in entering, just go to that video and it's very simple. And it is a natural spring core island and it is by kiki.lostwoods on Instagram. And I see that we have a bunch of gifts, so I'll go ahead and check these out. Oh, I just picked a flower. Forgive me for that. We got bunny hood, which I am very tempted. Stretch leggings. Leaf. I'm gonna wear this. I was gonna put. I was planning on wearing that. And I love this path already that they are using. It really blends in with the green original path. And we are. We have some other gifts over here. Oh, I see a sheep. Did you guys see that sheep too? Striped dress. I'm not sure what that looks like. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. Wait. Flor flowery dot tights. Mmm. I like this outfit right here. Okay. That looks really good. I am loving natural islands. And wow. This is already so stunning. And mesmerizing. And we'll go to the entrance. And... Here is the entrance. It is the perfect size. Not too big or small. We're going to look at the map. This is Lost Woods. And I see Marty right there. Marty is the best one. And we have Kiki. And these are the villagers. Pearl is amazing. She's a calico cat. And I really love Kiki's map. It is very stunning. And I just... It's interesting how there's only one, like stream of water and like able sisters has a lot of water and terraforming so i'm excited to see how that looks like and that was lost woods very stunning map it looks very pretty and then here is the entrance i really like how the size of it it's like perfectly not too small not too big like i said and i just love how you can see all the greens and yes very natural and we'll go ahead and keep on walking this mushroom and then we'll go down to the beach and actually they decided to put the grass that they used for the like the regular parts of the island they actually put the the green Path that they use on the beach too so it transforms the beach as well this thing is scary in here goodness and okay we do have nook's cranny right there and again very simple and natural and also we got a baby tree And we have a riding area. Oh my gosh. And they also did decide to keep the tent. I always love when people um, leave the tent because it looks so pretty and natural. And I just really love how the tent looks. I, I can't really get the tent back unless I restart. <clears throat> but I think that Blathers has his cozy little tent here and it looks so amazing. Oh, hello. So, uh, yeah, again. Oh my gosh. What is... Oh gosh, that ant. Scared me a little. Okay. And I really love how the tent is right on the beach. And there's a bunch of clutter and um, animals around. 
And, oh my gosh. Love this villager too. And we have a house here. It is, like, very important for me that I get, like, ideas on how to decorate, like, natural islands. Because I am doing a cottage core island next. And this is a perfect example of how you don't have to go crazy putting everything, like, going crazy, like, cluttering up the island if you're doing a natural theme. This is so simple and it looks very good. Blends right into the forest. And also, the beaches have just flowers everywhere. And there's another villager house. And I see a pie. And... Yeah, this is a villager's house. I like how they're all spread out. And... Wow. We can go ahead and jump to this beach of flowers. I love how this looks. It's overgrown. And I also love all these colors together. Love the green mums. Definitely my favorite. Um, and they go so well in this island. And then here we have like a tea area. It looks, yeah, definitely like an Easter whimsical um, eating area with like tea. And I, I see this basket and I need someone to tell me like, how do you get it? Because I have no idea. idea Because is it a recipe or an item? Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. But it is so cute and I need it so badly. So if anyone knows, please comment. And we have a campsite with two campers. And I like the setup. It has like a lacy rug. And a little place to have a snack. So, yeah, that was like a campsite. And we'll go ahead and cross the bridge. Oh, there's another campsite here. I really love it. And I love the lace right there. And this bridge. I seriously love horizontal bridges. Like, I will love them forever. They are stunning. And Kuropi fits so well in here. It looks like a frog. That's a good idea to put Kuropi right there. And I just love the pathway that is used in this island. Like, it is absolutely mag magical. It blends so well. And... And we got some bamboo hidden in there. Gives a lot, a lot of variation. For plants. There's a lot of trees. And here we hop to a villager's house. And yeah, they basically just the houses like are natural. They don't have too much decoration, which is perfect for a forest. And then we have another house. And another house up here. This is like a base, a little neighborhood. The rain boots. Pile of leaves. A lot of bug models, which... Yeah, another one. That's a good idea to put those. Here's a little, a little sunken area.
and we have the campsite. So yeah, campsite, and I really like how they put bamboo and cedar and um, oak, what is it called? Regular trees, cedar trees, and bamboo, because it looks really good when there's variation. That's something I need to take note of, because... Oh, don't think we didn't see this little eating area. Little private eating fishing spot with a little cute pond. That's great for the campsite. They have their own little private pond. Whoa, what's this item? Whoa. It's a weird sound. Here's like a little playground play area or picnic area. And I like how there's two different codes for a blanket. I wonder who lives here. Because it seems like they have a bunch of toys around. Kit. Who is Kit again? I don't know. Kit. Is this Kit? Yeah. Okay. So Kit does have a baby. I wonder if that's why there's a bunch of toys everywhere. But yeah, it is a cute little area. Ooh. I like how this is like a walk down into a mountain. Wow. It really is hidden. Cute section. Look at me. And I disappeared. And we have a park. And it leads to Red's beach. He's got some food. Wow, so many codes for blankets that are very pretty. And this is an interesting phone box. I've never seen this color before. And if you have a spring island, you need a lot of yellow in your whole island, so it fits very good. And we're going down the beach. Oh, we have cake. We're eating cake over here. Honestly, Christy did keep a color scheme of like white, green, yellow. It all fits all throughout, very cohesive. Ooh, mini coconut tree. Ooh, here you go and lay out in the sun. And this new item is stunning. I love this pier. Very cute design, that teddy design is so cute wow love that pier wow i didn't know you can make this duck this little no this little pond no this little puddle code bigger i didn't know that there was a bigger code of this that looks so cool it's like a big puddle wow that's cool. Ooh, I love this cute dining area. And this pie looks so good in any place. Looks really good to eat.
And okay. And I see Christy. And this is a villager's house. Pretty house. And we have another house and an eating area. And a book. Wow. Cool. I seriously miss the natural theme so much. I cannot wait to put trees everywhere. Ooh, here's like a little sunken in area. It adds detail. And we have a house. Really like how they spread a they spread out the houses. And a waterfall sunken in. And tea area. This island is so relaxing. And once again, I see these lamps. I'm just like, what is this from? How do you get that lamp? Oh, this is Abel Sisters Entrance. That's so cool. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's like a lot of little islands and like they're decorated. Super whimsical. Oh my goodness. Oh, what? Wait. This is Abel Sisters right here on an island. What? I love that. So super pretty. And then we go. I love how it's on an island. Honestly getting so much inspiration how you can just put buildings on an island and then put a bridge that would look amazing Really love this bridge area And oh, okay. Yeah, really okay that would this is Christie's house exterior and Yes, Christy has like a garden right in front. And he went with the light cottage look. Okay, so I believe that this is the end of the video. Um, Thank you for watching. And if you guys want to enter a the giveaway that I'm doing for the Sanrio Amiibo cards, all you have to do is watch my last video. So if you guys want to enter that, it will be in the last video I posted. And I will see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.